Today we have a battle between two bosses, one from Deltarune, the other from Undertale. Both of these bosses are extremely hard to beat while facing them, but one is certainly harder to beat than the other. Though it isn't exactly my job to tell you which gameplay is easier to go through. Today we're going to find out who could actually beat each other in a fight. The two in question that I'm speaking about is Sans from Undertale and Jevil from Deltarune. Now of course both members have been pitted in matches before. If you want to learn about Jevil, check out Jevil versus Bill Cipher. All you have to do is click the card in the top right or link down below. If you want to learn about Sans, check out Sans vs. The Judge over on the Rewind Rumble channel, again by clicking the card in the top right or link down below. Also, don't forget to check out Bowser vs. The Chaos King. This recently just came out and it has a really great animation, so make sure you watch that by clicking the card in the top right or link down below. Without further ado, let's not waste any more time and get straight into that battle animation. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Oh. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Hey, it's me again. Sorry to interrupt, but again, I really want to remind you that Chaos King vs. Bowser is something you should check out if you haven't done so yet. So just click that card in the top right or link down below after watching this fight. Thanks, and enjoy both videos. It's pronounced Wi-Fi, Ralph. Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Omega7321. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis. And the winner is Sans. This is a really close battle, which can honestly go either way. Jevil only needs one good hit to finish Sans off, while on the other hand, Sans' karmic retribution will slowly but surely poison Jevil, if not to death, at least to being knocked out or tired, if he is infected with it long enough. Now it's time for me to explain in specifics. Yes, Jevil does say that he can do anything, but this is more of a reference to the fact that he can dish out any type of attack. He's referring to what classes he can be able to use. For example, 
Jevil isn't just limited to diamonds or spades, he can use any type of bullet class, where say someone like Lancer can only dish out spades. The I can do anything quote shows zero evidence that Jevil can literally do anything as if he somehow had the infinity gauntlet or something like it. Plus, Jevil has been proven to lie to the party, fool around, trick the party, and play pranks. His track record is terrible, and so is his honesty record. But of course, even if Jevil literally can't do absolutely anything, that doesn't mean he would 100% lose to Sans. There is a very realistic chance that Jevil can get lucky enough to hit Sans at least once and take that epic victory royale. The problem is both characters have been shown to get tired, so this fight really comes down to the question of what happens first. Is it more likely that Sans gets tired and runs out of energy before Jevil does and gets hit due to that lack of energy, or is it more likely that they have roughly equal stamina but Sans is way faster and Jevil ends up suffering a karmic retribution poison overdose? In order to break this down, we need to figure out how fast each character is. Sans is fast, so fast he can scale to Frisk. This makes him at least massively hypersonic plus, likely much higher as Frisk is able to dodge attacks such as lightning bolts from Vulcan. Eventually, the speed of Frisk gets so high, it even becomes immeasurable with immense amounts of determination. The fastest feat to happen so far in Deltarune is Susie being fast enough to block sound waves before they reach Lancer. This should make Susie at least Mach 1 in terms of speed. We don't know how fast any of the character's true potential is yet since there's only one chapter, but even still, we we can only go what is proven to be the fastest thing, there's no reason why we should assume things. The other party members should be able to scale to Susie, making them all at least Mach 1. In terms of speed, the party was able to eventually tire Jevil and were able to dodge Jevil's attacks with their Mach 1 speed. This means that Jevil is likely also around Mach 1 in speed, but if we severely, and I mean severely highball and assume that Jevil is 100 times faster than the party, he should only rank at high hypersonic plus. That is still not fast enough to scale scale to Undertale Frisk, which Sans can scale to. Sans is massively hypersonic plus. For Jivel to be close to this level of speed, he would need to be at least 1,000 times faster than the Deltarune party, which is so unrealistic because if he was 1,000 times faster than the party, he would be impossible to dodge. Which has been proven false, there are gameplay runs of people taking no damage when facing Jevil. To put this speed gap into perspective, the fastest snail on Earth can travel one-third of a mile per hour hour or 0.3 mph, while a Ferrari F12 can reach speeds of 211 miles per hour, making the Ferrari 703 times faster. So a Ferrari is 703 times faster than a snail. When the Deltrune party tries to dodge Jevil's attacks, does it look like a snail trying to dodge a Ferrari? Absolutely not, because again, we've seen people dodge Jevil's attacks without taking any damage at all throughout the entire boss fight. If anything, Sans is the one who is more than likely a thousand times to even eight thousand times faster than Jevil. If Jevil only directly scales to the party, this could make Sans at least 8,000 times faster than Jevil, so imagine 800 Ferraris trying to run over a snail. If Jevil is unrealistically 10 times faster than the party, then Sans is still 1,000 times faster than Jevil, so imagine 100 Ferraris trying to run over that same snail. If Jevil is super duper unrealistically 100 times faster than the party, imagine two Ferraris trying to race each other, so even still, the speed is still close. The point I'm trying to get is, without luck, Jevil does not have a realistic chance of hitting Sans, while on the flip side, Sans would very easily have many opportunities to strike Jevil with Karmic Retribution. And of course, we could factor in luck, but assuming each character is giving it 110% in terms of effort, luck is really unreliable, whereas skill is something we could easily rely on. Jevil has had many sins and evil doings under his belt and in the past, so the Karmic Retribution would be very poisonous to him. And this doesn't need to be a battle to the absolute death. There's a different show for that. I'm just here to find out who is the better fighter. So if Sans isn't able to poison Jevil to death, he still should be able to poison Jevil to the point of getting extremely dizzy and extremely tired, claiming him the winner and the better fighter, making the winner of this battle, Sans. Now of course, Deltarune only has one chapter under its belt, so in the future when the full game is released, if you want to see a rematch between Sans and Jevil, all you have to do is like this video. If this video gets 3,000 likes, such a rematch will be put into production. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas, and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club.
Oh.